So let's start. What is Perkin reaction? Perkin reaction is the reaction of an acid anhydride with a non-inolizable aldehyde. What is a non-inolizable aldehyde? Now look here. This is the alpha carbon and it has no hydrogen. So due to this enolate formation is not possible. So once enolate formation is not possible that means we cannot form enolate from this aldehyde. Uh, let's take an example acetaldehyde. This aldehyde now has alpha hydrogen. So this aldehyde can be converted into an enolate. So now in this case, this has no alpha hydrogen. So benzaldehyde cannot be converted into enolate and the final product in this reaction is cinnamic acid or alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acid. So the mechanism of this reaction is very interesting since the base required is a weak base like sodium acetate. The mechanism is very interesting. So let's discuss the mechanism in the next section. To explain the mechanism of Perkin reaction, let us consider this reaction in which acidic anhydride reacts with benzaldehyde in the presence of weak base sodium acetate to form the product which is alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acid or the common name cinnamic acid. What happens in this reaction is at first enolate is formed formed from anhydride molecule. So first of all, let's see how enolate is formed. This is our anhydride and like the, uh, write this as CH2H. Now this is alpha proton. This alpha proton is easily abstracted by the base although base is a weak one. As a result, negative charge goes to the carbon and what we get is an enolate CH2 negative. Now this enolate is resonance stabilized. All enolates are resonance stabilized or you can say delocalized. This is the enolate. In the next stage, the enolate formed, formed attacks the benzaldehyde molecule, molecule as shown below. Now this O minus, it pushes the electron backwards. As a result, C double bond O is again formed and these pi electrons attack the carbonyl carbon of the benzaldehyde molecule. As a result, electron density is shifted to oxygen. So what we get is, this is a reversible process in which the reversible reaction is favored. We will discuss it later. What we get is, this is C double bond O oxygen. 
C double bond O. Now mark this as number one. This carbon attaches to this one. So what we get is O minus phenyl. This is the molecule which is formed after the attack of enolate. Now what we have to do is we have to redraw this molecule again understand it very closely we have to redraw this molecule again to explain the further reaction to get help with this mark this carbon or atom numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 so starting from number 1 we have C double bond O at number 2 then we have number 3 oxygen number 4 C double bond O number 5 is CH2 and number 6 is phenyl this is oxygen now this oxygen has a negative charge now this oxygen which has negative charge now attacks the carbon nil carbon which is number 2 and the electron density is shifted again towards oxygen and once again this numbering will help you to write the final product so number 2 this has O minus and carbon number 1 we have oxygen here C double bond O this oxygen and now what we have is oxygen here and this is phenyl let's mark numbers again so numbers are carbon number one two three four five and six this number numbering always helps help me to understand the mechanism and draw the products in a better way now what happens next is this oxygen pushes electron density back and now this bond is broken this is because COO minus is a better living group so what we get is again number 4 C double bond O minus then we have a CH2 at 5 then we have carbon number 6 which has phenyl attached to it then what we, we are left with is oxygen then now oxygen has a double bond and CH3 so this is the product which is being formed since the medium contains molecules of acetic acid this ion which is formed will quickly take up an H positive or proton to form a neutral molecule like this COOH pH O C double bond O oxygen now what happens next is that we need to write this COH group in more expanded manner this is because now under the basic conditions this alpha hydrogen actually results in formation of enolate this is quite rare because carboxylic acids don't generally form enolate so what we get is oxygen minus OH and what we are left with is pH oxygen C double bond O CH3 now what happens is that since the basic conditions are present another base molecule removes this H positive 
and due to it the electrons are pushed in a manner that this whole group which is our CH3 COO minus is pushed out as leaving group because it is a good leaving group again recognize that this is what this is our catalyst ch3 coo minus so what we are left with is our final product which is coo minus now this is number one what we are number two number three this is our salt of cinnamic acid which is easily protonated further to give you the final product which is trans cinnamic uh, acid or you can say alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acid so hopefully you will understand all the steps which are involved in the mechanism so if not then watch this video again slowly thank you so much for that